6.04 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, date 9-22-2011, and we have the NYSE gap open down right here. We got VimWare, that's the software. Uh, we have stocks gapping down, and they're all negative ratio gaps, but look at the, the amount of prices declining on this very opening bell on the NYSE. Goes, it goes so far that everything qualifies on the gap open up. 1.00 is the SMF MMT market maker qualifier. Well, if I scroll through here from the top, every single one of the NYSE meets that negative gap ratio and the trade management on the opening bell if they stop at the certain price levels and start to reverse then you know that we would be dealing with an opening bell capitulation style trade and it would have to happen in the first 20 minutes of the opening bell the opening bell is in 25 minutes from now it's not very often and it's a perfect time for this kind of trade to happen because every single one of the names have a negative ratio above 1.00 and none of you new MMTs or some of the uh, apprenticeship MMTs that have been in their yearly apprenticeship for a while nor have you seen this and you're seeing it now and this is a big discovery and what we're going to find out is where the weighted bottom price of the index is of the NYSE but then everything turns around and our fund manager is going to come in and buy because this would be a buying opportunity in their way of thinking we would see that in the tape in the first 20 minutes of the opening bell if it doesn't happen to meet that qualifier it could be you know after the first hour but then late in the day the last hour and a half would be a key important level of understanding where these people um, are going to make their transactions and how to verify those between the what's where is that price action waiting between the buyer and the seller remember a week ago was that triple witch and what we did was we rallied up five days in a row and that was that five day period last week now this is the second five day period of the week and I clearly said that in a yearly calendar low the 52 week yearly calendar low in all indexes is that they have a way of weighting the bottom and you rally up but then you rally right back down in volatility and the volatility is increasing in the pre-market futures and the various different futures the trade management will be how they get put in if they go from zero in the IR up to 35 and want to roll over you're only going to get so many you may get a dollar profit and you'll have to take it and sell short immediately so I'm going to tell people one of the things Cleveland Cliffs in here be watching that one things are going on in China there's a lot to this negative opening gap down every one of them are above 1.000 negative ratio gap down to qualify on the NYSE on the gap open up let's see if there's even any good bright news out here at all well there is Red Hat must be earnings related and you have GR and it has a gap and it has a large trade up here at 120.31 I don't know what the news is on it but if I were you I would start investigating it now and in a market like this this will be a prime easy picking as long as it's not a buyout so we have to find out what the information is to give out the trade management plan and that's the gap open list on the NYSE pretty big imbalance if you ask me and the market opens up here in a little while that CMG that uh, is an all time great short that CEO we traded that's got a nice yield to it MasterCard always does CRM Salesforce does negative 5.26 that's a good one here CF Industries negative 5 we trade that one we trade the I oh yeah IBM we're down okay so there's a large trade at 168 we like IBM we'd like to be able to get IBM around 160 point 
90 cents or so, $8 below here. Going into October earnings, that is. CMI is another one we make a market on, negative 4.12. And not only that, David makes a market at times on that CLF. Cleveland Cliffs. Look at, you got some of the commodity type related names are at, have given up all of their 2011 gains. And I can tell you right now that the Dow futures are only down 257. S&P is only down to 1126 minus 2940. NASDAQ futures are only down 49.2 handles right now. Okay. At 609 Pacific Standard Time. Okay. Markets are going to open. We're going to look to see where the fear factor peaks and starts to reverse. Once the fear factor does reverse, then equities will start to put their bottoms in in the lower delta range. And start your delta one delta down, delta and a half, two deltas, two and a half to three deltas. And if you are below, the, 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 the more negative delta ratio you go, the bigger the bounce off the bottom for a profit there will be MMTs. Because that's how the market maker, SMF market maker platform actually works. As we all know, it is so, so nice to have because it waits the buyers and the sellers and the fear and everything that goes on in the public tape. The emotion will be running very, very, very high on the opening bell. And MMTs, it's a joy to make a market to sell to the public. It's a joy to be able to get wholesale prices and where people want to buy them. We buy them to sell to them. And we buy them when they're weighted at the price. Here's that Tiffany. Here's that Caterpillar getting down to $76. They always do this. Whenever the Asians have a little bit of a contraction in their wonderful economies, uh, then they take these kinds of names down. Okay? The Caterpillars and the Deers and things like that. Tiffany was getting a lot of money out of the population and publicly traded companies in the US make money from the Asian community because they have more millionaires there than they do here in the USA because they do the truth is the truth and that the US consumer has been deleveraged and there's lots of things we'll talk about in our economic uh, uh, analysis and our economic forecast that's a very, 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 very nice forecast to be involved with because it really, really guides you through what you need to go through as far as understanding where the U.S. consumer payroll has a weighted uh, support level within the actual supply chain of earnings as far as U.S. earnings base goes and then the international earnings base. You have two different you know bases there United States earnings base and then you have the international earnings base and we're going into a major earnings season and I told everybody you better price in this upcoming October 2011 earnings season that means the S&P you know we start getting down there to our price targets 1060 and whatnot but really the S&P needs to get down as we've always talked about that's 100 handles above my price target at, uh, at uh, 970 still. And you're going to make, every time you make another 52-week index low in a calendar year, that would be low number two. If we break today's lows, then we'll have the second count of lows, and then we'll have a second count of upside volatility to resistance and sell short again, back down, just as we have gone through the last, oh, I don't know, 33 or 34 trading days when we originally started putting that bottom, that, that August bottom in, is now we're going to see on this opening bell, as we said, they better price in these earnings, and I know what they're worth on the S&P 500 combined and we're thinking in the very first pass between seventy two fifty and seventy five dollars right now this ninety five dollar valuation in the financial crisis they were way up there at the highs um, and we said that those earnings were about fifty percent higher than what they should be based on where we were going 
and the kind of economic depression that was there had given those mathematical equations at that time. And that was in the 2008 one, and now we're, now we're going to go back and deal with it. And the thing about it is the markets are going to have to get what we call index-weighted to those earnings that are coming in October and forward-looking in 2012, 2013 on a 24-month supply chain um, and a five-year. And the thing about it is economic is economic, but the value of a publicly traded company will be that certain value at a certain price at a certain time that has you know it's weighted in the uh, in our economy and goods and services will still flow once again if the White House ever does anything right um, you won't be having these kind of markets once once the public is happy and I don't think the public is real happy and they don't know how to deal with this kind of volatility or the skills to deal with it that's what the MMT Market Maker School is. That's why it's a 12-month program for you to go through things like this. Learn them. Trade management will be the same. I did it on the NASDAQ gap open down, MMTs, and the same plan A and plan B is in there. And as we move through the day, we'll start looking at what plan C and D looks like. And as we go through the weighting of the price action public tape, that's for the public buyers and sellers of everyone combined. We will get that weighted index again. And trade management is, watch that CMG because if it rolls up, this thing's overvalued. Okay? And look, it, it's, they make great money. They're a great company. They're everything. But the problem is they're not worth the value that they're at. And the markets need, and they're all great stocks, and they're all going to trade great at lower values. So what? The number changes, but the same trade management and the equities don't change.